Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I've got an idea. I always have ideas. <laughs> oh, but I had an idea from one of my subscribers to use the uh, background that I normally use in my floating blooms uh, on my blooms transfers. And I was like, that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to experiment with that. So let's go get started. All right. I've got a lot of, a lot of colors here. I'm using up uh, some of my colors that have been mixed up. So we're going to go over the colors, the selectivator, and then the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. So I'm just going to jump right into it and just show you the consistencies really quick. You'll see pictures of all the colors on the screen here. This is my fluorescent pink. And these are all, I don't have any pigments, so these are all mixed with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. But this is the fluorescent pink that we have. Whoops, let me, there we go. And then this is that Liquitex Basics Fluid I had, that turquoise blue. I really like this blue. It does mix up thin, just so you're aware. I don't know if the other ones, this is the only one I have of it, so I don't know if the other ones mix up as thin. Whoops, this is a little bit thick on me. This is my, uh, the iridescent blue black that I love so much. There's that consistency. And then we've got my PBO, the blue, the iridescent blue green. Some of these are quite old and I just keep using them until I can no longer use them. And then this is a Parage Posse paint. This is, what is this again? Well, it'll show you on the screen. Uh, the Antique Copper Metallic, I think. There's that consistency. And then my Black Umber. There's that one. And finally, this is the Nickel Easel Gold. This one's gotten kind of thick on me. Some of these I should probably just pitch, but one last, one last painting with some of you. <laughs> so those are all the colors we're gonna do. And I have two cell activators. I've got a little bit left. These are both mixed with the Australian Floetrol, four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint, as you see on the screen. Uh, this, this, one part paint is, uh, this is actually, I still got a little bit left of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. I'm not even sure if you can see that consistency. You'll be able to see the gold a little bit better. And it's, they're basically the same consistency. And then this is the gold that I like to use. There's that consistency there. All right. That's my two cell activators. My pillow. I've got a full container of my Glidden Premium in Satin. I'll just show you the consistency. What that looks like there. All right. There's everything we're going to use today. So now let's go over to the canvas. We're going to do it in the spinner box today. And I'll talk about what we're going to paint today. All right. My canvas for today is a 14 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas that I've got taped up on the back like this. And I've got an idea from one of my subscribers. Uh, you know, I like to swipe the background on my floating blooms with the gold cell activator. It makes a really nice, soft, kind of lacy background. And they said, well, what about if you do that with a blooms transfer? And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> what if we do that? <laughs> That is an awesome, awesome suggestion. So I want to do that. I want, I'm going to flood this canvas and then we're going to swipe it. I'm not sure if I want to do the whole thing or just maybe down the middle. I haven't decided quite yet, but we're going to put gold cell activator kind of as the backdrop. And then we're going to do a transfer bloom with just with palette knives because I, I don't want a lot. I would like some negative space with the, the, the gold cell activator in the background, kind of the lacy effect. I don't really have a picture in my mind and I'm just gonna let the paint speak for itself today. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna head back over to the bench and do our bloom on my bigger board and we'll let that rest while we flood this and then we'll get started painting this. So let's go to it. All right, I've got my bigger transfer board that I'm gonna put the pillow on. I've got just a tiny little bit left in my gallon here because I'd filled up my uh, my container, my pillow container you, you just saw. So I'm going to just use up the rest of what's in here on my board. Let's 
like so. That should be enough. That should be plenty. All right. Put down the nickel easel gold first. Oops. Got black umber. Turquoise and then the hot pink. Okay. I think I'm going to use both cell activators. I'm just going to put just a little bit of the gold down just to have some in there because we're going to have the gold background. And I'm going to put a lot more of the black on. There we go. That should be plenty. Let's blow this out. gonna add a little bit to here some of it transfers over nicely oh I should blow out that more that's all right okay all right that looks really neat I'm gonna let this settle some more I'm gonna go flood the canvas and then we're gonna do the background uh, with the cell activator and then we'll transfer this over all right, I've got this flooded. I didn't push it out to the corners only because we're gonna be adding the background and then the, the blooms transfer. We're gonna have plenty of paint to push it out. Um, I think for just this first one that we I wanna do today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two passes. I'm gonna do one here and one here with this big guy and I'm just gonna put it loaded up with uh, the cell activator and we'll see what we get. I think the next, the next time I try this, I may experiment with doing half, but I want to do the whole one just for this one. And I think we're going to do the, like the palette transfers kind of down the middle. So we have a little bit of the background showing on both sides. That's my idea. We all know how that works. <laughs> I'm going to get this loaded up and then I'll get, I'll show you before we swipe. All right. Like, so I've just got a thin layer and I'm just going to start up here. Doesn't have to be all the way to the edge. with what I see here. I did have to use a couple uh, passes with the smaller palette knives, but that's okay. Now we're gonna bring that bloom over and we're gonna transfer it with probably a few different palette knives. I'm not, I don't wanna use my spreader. I kinda want it to go thin and I feel like I wanna stick to the middle, but I may digress. I don't know yet. <laughs> this is how that bloom, I got a lot of blue in there, but Got some of, some orange in the middle there, so we'll see what we can grab. I think I'm gonna start out with this tool. I'm just gonna take 
right here. All right, I am pretty happy with this. I'm just gonna start spinning and then I'm gonna guide it as we go. And I may pull some more stuff out, I may not. I'm kind of liking everything that's happening here. I just wanna see how it is spinning it out. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm just going to continue to spin slowly and I might guide it a little. I want to get this part off here. I'm going to give it another good spin. Not too much. I am liking what's happening. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. still need to get some more off. Oh, gosh, this is gorgeous. Move this over just a little. I think we're just about there. I don't want to spin it too much more. I don't want to take any more off because you can kind of still see the movement and I love that it has uh, up here and down here it has the, you can see the background. It's very subtle and then in between some of these layers here you can see it. All right, just one more little. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. This was such a great idea. <laughs> I so want to do more of these. Oh, with different backgrounds. Different ways the background is. Oh, there's so much you can do with this. Oh my gosh. Let's just make sure. I've got a little bit of movement. Whoops. <laughs> As I bonk my head on the camera, I got a little bit of movement, but not much at all. So that tells me it's gonna dry okay. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyer, fly over. This is definitely a winner, winner chicken dinner. This turned out better than I could have possibly imagined. I absolutely love the idea of the swiped background. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm still dying over here. I cannot wait to see how this dries, but just the transparency that these all these mixed colors together lend with some of the cells that were saved and the movement. I'm, I'm dying over here. I absolutely love this piece. And uh, you know, this is just a 14 by 18. I'm already like, all right, I want to, I want to do this on a, the biggest piece I can possibly fit in my spinner box, which I don't know what that is yet, but we might find out this year. I absolutely love that middle. So cool. Look at those shimmers. I cannot wait to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. All right, here it is as a whole, all dry. It just dried beautifully. How you saw it wet is how uh, it dried and you can kind of see the uh, 
the background, how it's kind of really soft and subtle and it just kind of moves within the, all of these ribbons. I'm, I'm in love with this. Uh, this, this idea was probably the best yet. Oh, I love all that in there. There's so many nice shimmers and we'll check that out as well as orientations, but here it kind of, the background kind of peeks through right there. And then it kind of goes off and it's a bit more subtle here with all these ribbons. I love, that's probably my favorite part. Whoops, my camera <laughs> it went in too fast. That's probably my favorite part right there, that cell. I mean, there's so many things going on in there with all the different layers. Just beautiful. All right, let's go check out some shimmers of this piece and then we'll check out orientations. Really nice subtle shimmers in here if you can see them. It's kind of hard to see. Got a couple of lights on in here too, but you see how that background, it's just, oh, especially right there, it's like a little secret. Just beautiful. And in there, there's some really neat subtle shimmers. Just gorgeous. All right, let's go check out it almost looks like it's dancing and floating as I'm moving it. Okay, let's go check out some orientations. Ooh, that looks really nice, this orientation as well. Yeah, I have a feeling there's not gonna be a bad orientation with this piece. This is the other horizontal. And then here's the last vertical. I think this is my favorite vertical way. The first horizontal is my favorite, and then this uh, vertical is my favorite. I would love to hear your favorite orientation. I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. This is still my, my first favorite orientation on the horizontal, but I do like it vertically as well. This piece was so much fun to do. <laughs> I can't tell you. I think I say that about every piece now because it's just, I'm starting to do some, some different things or newer for me. And it's, 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 well, it's exciting. <laughs> I can't help it. But I love using the uh, cell activator background, uh, like what I do on my floating blooms for these blooms transfers. There's a lot. I, I feel like there's a lot I want to do this year. <laughs> so your game come along with me so there's definitely gonna be more of these pieces and I wanted I wanted I, I was serious when I said I wanted to see how big I could get it I don't know how big of a piece I can do in my in my spinner box yet but I'm definitely gonna work up to that so I would love to hear your thoughts on this piece what's your favorite orientation color palette all that good stuff so let me know in the comments below with that thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time